Hi everyone, it's Luis again. Listen, today I'm making a video on cold damage on your phalaenopsis orchids and how to look for signs that your plant has cold damage. Now these two plants are phalaenopsis that I grow here in my orchid room and they both look healthy. But one has signs of cold damage and the other one doesn't. I'm gonna go into it right now uh, in more detail, but what I want to point out is that phalaenopsis do not like temperatures below 50 degrees. So whether you grow out in a greenhouse or in a windowsill, what you need to make sure is that neither one of them is touching the window, the glass itself, or the walls, or the frame, the steel frame, aluminum frame of your greenhouse. And make sure that your temperature does not go below 50. Now, this one's the healthy one. This is the one that has cold damage. And the way to look for cold damage is by looking for discolorations in the leaves themselves. Um, right here, I made uh, markings with a marker of where the cold damage is evident. Right here, you're going to see a darker color that I marked with the marker. And that's the sign of cold damage. Over here, I did another marking where the cold damage is, um, has affected the plant. Now, I devised this hack, per se, or way that could help you determine if your plant has uh, cold damage. Now, you might be thinking, well, why would I want to know if my plants have cold damage? Well, the reason that you don't want cold damage on your plant is because they can bring in secondary infections and secondary infections can kill your plant especially if it's close to the crown of the plant so if it's close to here then your plant can get crown rot and then you lose the whole plant so what you want to do is uh, look for it early enough so that you can spray it with fungicide or hydrogen peroxide to prevent any secondary infections from uh, getting into your plant. Now you could also cut the leaf and you'll be fine. Now, um, or you could just leave it alone. If there's no sign of an infection, then you could just leave it there until the leaf itself drops. So what I do is I use um, a fluorescent light bulb that helps me look for damage. This healthy leaf should uh, show as a uniform color all throughout the plant. That is a healthy leaf. Now if you're having trouble seeing damage, look at this leaf in the back. This one in the back shows cold damage and you can see that it forms a halo around your leaves. That is signs of cold damage. Now if I do it on this one where I did the markings, you're gonna see where that damage is. And that damage, you can see the circles and you can see on top of it that there's more damage and, but I didn't get to um, mark it with the marker. So those are signs of damage. Now, my plant had cold damage and the reason I cut it off is because see how this one has black? Black is not good. That means it's infected. So this one was right here and I cut it off and you want to make sure that you use fungicide on the plant to keep your plant from getting crown rot because if it's this close to the terminal leaf, your leaf could get crown rot. So you don't want that. So another way to see if your plant has damage is by looking at the leaf itself. And if it looks dull green like this, um, and if it looks kind of wet, that's cold damage too. Right here you can see it better than on the top. But even if you cannot see that with the naked eye, you could, you could also use the light and you're going to see how it glows 
and you can see all uh, the damage in your leaf. Now, the reason you want to get rid of it is because if your leaf has that mushiness in it, it's probably infected. So you want to get rid of this because as the leaf, the progression goes to the, the top of the leaf, then it can enter the, the main stem of your plant and then kill it. So on this one, you're going to see where the damage is right there. And you can see it right there. See? So, now, this, this leaf compared to this leaf is different because this one is an old leaf and this is also an old leaf, but this one has cold damage and this one doesn't. So what you're going to see in uh, an older leaf is going to turn yellow and it's going to yellow from the, the terminal part to the center part of the leaf. So this you can still leave on there and it'll die on its own and not cause any problems. This on the other hand, if you don't cut it off, this a bacteria can go into the plant and potentially cure your plant. So you don't want that. Especially something that looks black like this. And it probably is a combination of mechanical damage there. You see a white dot where it was punctured. And then it formed a ring and then it started turning black and it's trailing into the plant itself. So you don't want this. You want to uh, use fungicide and uh, or hydrogen peroxide to keep your plants from getting um, secondary infections. So I hope you enjoy my video and um, if you have any questions or comments let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.